FEBC started the China Ministry in 1949, two months before the Communist regime. Then we began broadcast to China. During the earlier years, we classified our radio station as an enemy station. The listeners had a lot of challenge trying to listen to our programs. Many of them were hiding inside their bed with blankets covering the radio receivers. They have to turn off their lights. I still remember when I first joined uh, FEBC that there are Bible smuggling stories. When I first got into the ministry in the 1970s, China was still closed. But China opened up and then we see a great changes in the China churches. We started to receive a lot of letters from our listeners in China. We teach them how to start a house church. They would start meeting at home with a few of their relatives. And then later on, they would bring in their neighbors. The number of people would increase until one house cannot house that many people. Then they would break up into two. And now, you see the Christian communities inside China. It's so amazing. I can witness that it's God's hand, God's work all these 30 some years. It's not easy, but you can tell the difference. We can go into China, we can meet with the listeners. And I have seen so many lives that are being changed by the gospel. People listen and their life changed. The ministry is to prepare for the future. When one day when China is fully open, we already have our next generation uh, gospel uh, broadcasters ready there. China is still a place that's full of challenges and risk when it comes to preaching the gospel. So we really need a lot of prayer. It's all the power of prayer that uh, leads us to what we're doing today.